Mail and I'm here today to talk to Eleni about riding gear, riding apparel and rider safety. Brooklyn, are there different sizes in helmets? Yeah, there sure are. Different sizes and different shells as well. So you've got a full face helmet, you've got a three quarter face, open face helmet, a quarter shell helmet, three quarter with a visor as well. Um, they range from a double extra small up to a three extra large. You can get youth size helmets, you can get women's size helmets and unisex. So no matter what, there is a helmet out there that will fit you. Brooklyn, how do I know that my helmet fits correctly? Cool, so basically when you have your helmet, open face or full face, when you put it on, it needs to be nice, tight and firm. It needs to be touching the crown of your head and no movement whatsoever. They always give and stretch over time, so you need it to be nice, tight and firm on that head so it's not going anywhere with any movement. Brooklyn, what's the difference between wearing an open-faced and a full-faced helmet? Quite a lot. Um, it depends on the rider, it depends how you're riding, and it depends what you want to do as well. Um, a lot of people do use a full-face helmet for long rides or in cold weather, in commuting, um, and then sometimes you might get your Sunday rider or just your cruiser in your three-quarter helmet. It all depends um, what's comfortable for you and what your riding is that you are doing. Now, are there any rules around wearing a helmet in Australia? Yes, absolutely. If you own a motorcycle in Australia and a rider license, you have to obviously have your helmet. On that helmet, you need to have your Australian Safety Standards sticker. Number one, it's illegal if you do not have a helmet with that sticker. And number two, it is obviously very dangerous. So if I've bought the correct helmet, am I allowed to remove the sticker? No, this is a must and a necessity for any helmet sold in Australia and anyone riding on the road. Every girl's nightmare. All right, so when you take the helmet off, obviously you're gonna have lovely hair everywhere from the wind, the ride, everything. Normally it is like that. So what I normally do, and a lot of the other ladies who ride with Harley, or even just a pillion, we wear a do-rag. Stop split ends too with the leather rubbing on your head. So we just put that down there. Put your helmet back on. No split ends. Oh, and no sweaty head. And no sweaty head. So much better. Definitely not the silliest question. So you've got your two straps, two buckle, oh sorry, one strap, two buckle. What the golden rule is, in through two and back through one. Pull it nice and tight so you have no movement of that helmet whatsoever. Brooklyn, when it comes to safety riding gear, is leather my only option in a jacket? No, absolutely not. So with jackets and safety, you've got two different options. You've got a mesh style abrasion resistance jacket. Great for summer, great for vegans, not leather. So these are an abrasion resistance that is built into the textile and into the fabric. Um, there are mesh as well, so they're great for the hotter months. Um, all of the jackets do come with body pockets for body armor in the shoulders and in the elbows and also in the back of the jacket. The safest jacket while riding is leather. So you've got full leather protection. Um, all jackets have different features and different benefits to them. Um, with the Harley Davidson, you've got your action back, which gives you a little bit of extra inch of leather to stop back pain and give you more comfortability as well while riding. And again, your body pockets for your body armor. You've got zippers as well, which kind of let a little bit of airflow through. And you've got a biker collar up here to stop the wind going down your jacket as well. And ventilation, which is the number one for letting air flow through because leather does get hot. Brooklyn, how do I choose a perfect glove? Great question. The perfect glove comes down to your riding style and also the weather. I've got three here, let's have a look. First one I'm gonna start off with is the summer glove. So it is still a leather glove, fingerless at the top, and perforation as well, cause it's cooler to wear. You got a little bit of padding, just in case of any impact. You've got your intermediate glove, which is generally an autumn, spring kind of glove. Full leather, extra padding, then you've got your gauntlet style glove, longer cuff, 
and lining on the inside. When wearing a glove, you need to make sure it's nice, tight and firm. The expression is fit like a glove, so it's pretty true. You need it to be no excess in the fingertips either. So when you're grabbing the clutch and the brake, you need to be able to know that you've got full security of getting that brake and that clutch.